So if you pay attention to the Ghana Enterprises Agency structure, it was set up specifically to provide support yes. to micro, small and medium enterprises. And what kind of support are we talking about? We're talking about access to finance, either we are facilitating it if we don't have the funding or also providing some form of funding. What we also do is actually hinged on three other pillars, which is business development support services, which is where we provide through to support your businesses, small business management, mm -hmm. branding, packaging, a whole lot of um, topics and yeah. services that we provide. We also provide regulatory support because we're a government mm, agency. Mm, mm. And so where we're providing them access to Ghana Standards Authority, Food okay. and Drugs Authority, we have discounted pricing and a partnership with these institutions, so it supports mm. um, MSMEs across the nation. Okay. Then we also provide technical skills support. So there's some people who might have um, a business, but they don't have enough skills to continue to write, run it. Okay. Or, you know, you might be a fashion designer, you need extra skills to be able to do certain things. Mm -hmm. We provide that kind of support. Okay. And to be able to do that, and that's why I always say government is really important in this process, <laughs> is that we have a decentralized system. So across the country, we have 209 offices and oh. 37 business resource centers, which are one-stop shop for business development. And all of this was put in place because we realized that you need to take BDS or business development services to the doorstep of the person. Mm -hmm. So you talk about the fact that they might not show up because to them, it's far away from where they mm -hmm. are. And most often than not, it's always concentrated in Accra, Kumasi, Tamale. Mm -hmm. But for me, I have an office in Damongo, Bole Bamboy. I have one in uh, Bokong. Okay. Um, and, and, and so you have all these offices and officers who are providing support. Mm -hmm. But people walk into the office and say, I want to start a business. Or I have started a business. I have a challenge. I need to accelerate the growth of my business. What kind of interventions can we provide? Okay. So we do all of this. And we make sure that we are providing also business coaching and mentoring. Mm, mm, Just mm. last month, we did 4,000 um, business coaching and mentoring mm. programs across the nation in partnership with AGI. Because okay. we've also realized the need for um, industries, the private sector, existing businesses to come in and support some of the smaller and medium enterprises and pull them up. Mm. And so a lot of the interventions that we're carrying out across the nation is to ensure that people look at growing their businesses and take a holistic look at the businesses mm -hmm. and provide the support. Because you can't support one and leave out the other, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And if we continue to do that, we realize that the businesses cannot be sustainable. Mm -hmm. So as much as possible, BDS is key to the mm -hmm. implementation. Mm -hmm. If you pay attention to our numbers, we, in the past four years, we've done 600,000 BDS provision to 600,000 plus individuals and businesses, all because it's important for us to transform the economy by providing support to these entrepreneurs, to their MSMEs, to watch them grow. If not, mm -hmm. they will stay where mm -hmm. they are. Mm -hmm. Micro forever, informal forever, <laughs> um, not going anywhere forever, but they want to grow. Exactly. And so mm -hmm. that's where we play a role. And that's why decentralization of our business development services is also key to the work that we are doing. Fantastic. Okay.